In this video, we will be building this new morphic UI design. To achieve this, we will make use of the Flutter new morphic package. So add it as a dependency and let's get started. Now here, as we can see, the UI is mainly divided into three components, button, track image and slider. We will first create the button. Now here I have created a stateless widget named custom button. Inside it, we will add the new morphic button widget, which is from the Flutter new morphic package, which have a list of pre-made useful widgets. Now inside it, we will add an empty on press callback. Then in style, we will pass the new morphic style, which takes three important properties, depth, intensity, and shape, which will define the look and feel of the new morphic designs. Like depth, which influence on the shadow color and blur radius, which give it a more floating look when the value is positive or embrace when it's negative. Then intensity, which ranges between 0 and 1 and influence the intensity of the shadow. And last is shape, which are of three types, flat, convex and concave, which basically are different types of shadow depth effect. After experimenting with the values, I find these values to give the desired effect. And also add a box shape of circle. Then inside child, pass a child variable which we will create as a property of our custom button widget. At this point, our button looks something like this. In order to achieve this border like effect, as you can see here, we will wrap it with new morphic widget which simply add the new morphic effect to its child. Then give it a padding of 2 pixels and style it with a depth of 10, intensity of 0.8, shape as flat and a box shape of circle. Now our buttons look good, but it misses the depth effect when we press on it. So to increase the depth effect, add minimum distance property and pass a value of negative 10. And lastly, in order to make our custom button with more customizable, we'll add a padding property with a default padding of 15 pixels, then add primary background color, which will be our button color and secondary background color, which will be that border color. And then as a last step, add the secondary background color to our new morphic widget, then add the padding as well as the primary background color to our new morphic button widget. Then secondly, we will create this slider widget. So add a new morphic slider widget, pass it some numbers for value, min and max property, give it a height of 8 and in style, pass slider style with a depth of 2 and give it some accent color and a variant color. I have already created variables for all the colors in the colors.dart file. Then add a custom thumb property which is used to customize this slider indicator. So pass a container with a width and a height of 20 pixels. Then add a decoration of box decoration with shape as circle and a color. And lastly, we will create this track image widget which will be super simple at this point. So add the new morphic widget which as we can remember add that floating effect to its child. Then give it a padding of 10 pixels, margin of 50 and in style give it a color, a depth of 32, intensity of 0.8, shape as flat and a box shape of circle as always. Well now we are all set and ready to build our UI which will be super easy as we just have to lay out our components into rows and columns. Now here I have created the audio player stateless widget which consists of a scaffold with a background color and a body with a column widget. Inside it, add some spacing using size box. Then for the app bar, we have two similar button and a text widget spaced horizontally. So first, add a padding widget and give it a horizontal padding of 20 pixels. Inside it, add a row with the main axis alignment space between. In its children, add our custom button widget with a child of arrow back icon. Then add a primary background color as well as a secondary background color. Then add a text widget. And lastly, add the similar custom button with only change in the icon which will be off menu. Then add some vertical spacing. Now below app bar, we have a track image. So simply add the track image widget and below it add some vertical spacing. Then we will have the track name and description which are simple text widgets inside column. Then we have the track progress. So add a padding widget with a horizontal padding of 10 pixels. Then add a column with track timer widget which is simply a row with two text widget space apart. Below it, add our custom slider. And lastly, we have the track control buttons, which are simply three custom buttons spaced horizontally. 
So add a padding widget with a horizontal padding of 40 and a vertical padding of 20 pixels. Then give it a row widget with a main axis alignment of space evenly. Then add our custom button with a padding of 25 pixels and a fast rewind icon. Below it, add another custom button with a pause icon with the primary and secondary background color of an active button color. And lastly, add the similar custom button as the first one with a fast forward icon. And that's it for this video.